Let's talk about figurative language. One tool that authors use in their writing is figurative language. This creates a special effect or feeling or makes a point. This includes figures of speech that compare, exaggerate, or mean something different from what is expected. One example of figurative language that we'll start looking at is simile. A simile adds meaning to an idea by comparing two things using the word like or as. For example, the simile, the trees are like skyscrapers, tells the readers that the trees in this example are very tall. Or we could look at the picture on the screen, I'm happy as a clam, describing how somebody feels by comparing them to a clam who has no worries at all. Another figure of speech is a metaphor. A metaphor is a comparison of two things by saying one thing is another thing. It's also known as a direct comparison. Let's look at this example. The full moon is a silver dollar in the sky. You know that a silver dollar is round and shiny, so you can picture the full moon also as round and shiny. Here's another one. You must be a walking encyclopedia to know all those facts. If you know what an encyclopedia is, you know that it is a collection of different facts and pieces of information. So if you are a walking encyclopedia, that means you are someone who walks around and knows a lot of different pieces of information. Other types of figurative language include personification, alliteration, assonance, and sensory language. Today, your focus will be on simile and metaphor.